So here we have the Vauxhall Astra Estate on a 66 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car. And then we're going to hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. From the outside, you can see it's a five-door car with alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot, first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space as well. And we've also got those rear seats that you can fold down should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car. And then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start uh, with the central console area here. As you can see, we have a digital readout for the speedometer and the total miles for this car are displayed there as well. They are 54,181. Beneath that, it will show you what gear this car is in. It's an automatic, so of course we're in park at the moment. We back out to the steering wheel. We have cruise control and speed limiter on the left hand side. And over on the right hand side, we have our stereo controls for the car. The main stereo itself is over in the center just here. It's all touch screen. Uh, aside from a few physical buttons down the bottom, you can see you've got satellite navigation. Really nice, clear color display, very easy system to use. You can also pair your phone up here. You can access your music. Uh, so this car has got DAB, AM and FM radio, which you can access with the radio button just here and it'll go around in a circle back to DAB again uh, if you want to listen to your own music you can do nothing is connected up at the moment uh, you can insert a USB device you can stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio depending on the smartphone you have this car's also got Android Auto and Apple CarPlay available as well working our way down we have the main volume for the stereo we then have dual zone climate control so you can adjust the driver and passenger temperature you can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. And when you're happy with those settings, you can turn your air conditioning off in this case, or back on again, or just hit auto. The car will now take full control of the fan speed and direction of the air, as you can hear it doing. You can override that whenever you wish to, but essentially what it's doing is maintaining the temperatures that you've asked for. We have a heated driver seat, a heated passenger seat. We've also got heated rear seats as well and a heated steering wheel. Uh, below that, we've got the ability to turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. The system is off when that light shows. We can turn our traction control on and off as well. And we have the uh, gear lever for the automatic gearbox, of course. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.